windy today. You are the beard meets food bloke, aren't you? I am the beard meets food bloke, yeah, how are you doing? Alright mate. Right. A little bit of advertising for your company there. Is that yours? Hydro Quip? I'll ask you. Should I just kind of take a picture with you to prove that it's you? Yeah, of course you can take a picture. <laughs> Oh, she, she won't believe you otherwise. No, she doesn't. What a nice chap. All right, let's hit the road. Today we're going to a little village called Pickering. I remember when I picked a ring for Mrs. Beard. That was six years ago now, and we're still not married. <laughs> mm. All right, here we are. We've reached the location, and it's called the station. Always good to get a rhyme in there if you can. She might make this year's Christmas song a rap number. I could spit a few bars. <laughs> oh my, give Mrs. Beard enough grief for parking. This is pretty bad. Here we go. Uh, bar or lounge? I assume the lounge. I don't you know if I'm in the right place here. Somebody's singing share pretty loud. Chill's the wrong side. Yeah, I'm, I'm doing well, thank you. A little bit of share on the on the radio. Nice. What's your favourite share song? If you had to pick a share. Yeah, I think my favourite. You're gonna be. This is a bit embarrassing, but you know the Shoop Shoop song from Mermaids. Yes. If you wanna know. Yeah, that's my favourite. <laughs> the landlady just told me that there's there's a head. So is what is somebody? They're not buried there, are they? Sure. No, no, we are not. No. <laughs> But it's just that somebody's got a tombstone there for some reason. I love those, by the way. That's a. You, you, you're the owner of the establishment walking around in flip flops. Yeah. Nothing says I own the place. Yeah. Like walking around in these, flip flops these are with socks on, no less. <laughs> these are my kitchen crocs. Uh, all right. <laughs> Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Today we're at a place called the Station Hotel. I did, normally I forget, right, and I can't claim I remembered that because I'm reading it off the uh, off the top of the bar. <laughs> and I'm taking on their uh, their Mighty Palmo Challenge. A Palmo is a teaside delicacy. It's, uh, it's kind of like a chicken schnitzel covered with cheese. This has kebab meat in there, though. <laughs> Quadruple cut chips and uh, coleslaw. What's this stuff here? Garlic yogurt. Right. You get 40 minutes to do it. Yeah. It's been done once before. And it took the, the guy 38 minutes, yeah. just in the nick of time. If you finish it inside 40 minutes, it's free and you get a t-shirt, right? Yeah. Love yeah, t-shirts. And on the wall of fame. So without further ado, it's a bit soon. This is uh, a huge palmo challenge. Who's cool? What should we go with first? Top of the palmo, I reckon. Ooh, that, that retains its heat quite well. <laughs> Ah, we're still being happy. Welcome back to another installment of Man Tries to Eat Lots of Food for Glory and Garments. The garment in this case being a, a pretty traditional winner's t shirt. <laughs> Ooh, this is still pretty hot. I'm not sure it's customary to eat a palmo with your, with your hands, but I'm doing it. Uh, there's a surprise. Wikipedia, by the way, defines a palmo as a breaded cutlet of chicken or pork topped with bechamel sauce and cheddar cheese, if you didn't know. I'll do some of the coleslaw. What? Have you lost your mind? Going for the coleslaw this early? Something must be wrong. Might have cooled off a little bit now. Oh yeah, now I remember. I went for the coleslaw because the, the palmo was still scorchingly hot. Lot of cold. I'm putting off the kebab meat, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to jump in at some point. Yeah. So there we go. Let's use a bit of this. What do you say it was? Garlic sauce. Garlic sauce. I'll take your word for it. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It looked a bit primordial to me, like some kind of ancient living goo. Still, the taste did distract from the uh, the kebab meat. <laughs> there was a kink in the table, so I propped it up using this. It would be all right now. There was a kink in the table, but that did not make it much more stable. Oh, that, oh, that rhymes. Hey. <laughs> but it did make it more uh, visible, let's say. So there's that. I just want that to cool off a little bit. 
the landlady was telling me beforehand that she's got a, a fear of seeing people choke to death, well, which is why she's disappeared now. She's <laughs> 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 gone. Does it every time? Yeah, the landlady was afflicted by pseudo dysphagia, otherwise known as fear of choking. Clearly didn't know, you know, we're, we're professional here. That's, that's not going to happen, probably. <laughs> you know, given that chips and kebab meat are two of my least favourite things, I'm enjoying this very much. This sauce is nice, by the way. Yeah, I'm coming around to it. It didn't look the greatest, but um, I, I would describe it as more of a garlic yogurt. It, it had a certain charm. I'm going to eat this how it's supposed to be eaten now. No, come on now. No, nobody's buying the argument that a palmo is a handheld snack. <laughs> it's the opposite of that. You're supposed to eat a palmo with some degree of courtesy, a knife and fork, you know, carve it up while you're eating it with your granny on a Sunday afternoon or something. This was a good palmo though. I mean, I, I, I'm not the world's biggest fan of palmos. Something about crusty chicken, which is then topped with gooey stuff, which feels a bit weird to me, but this was enjoyable. Oh, God, babe. Is it all right? I don't really trust these two, yeah? It's, yeah. it's okay? It's alright, yeah. I've got a crumb like. <laughs> crumbing in my lip. Is this making you want to order a Parma? It makes me love it. Yeah? Yeah. Weird, I normally have the opposite effect on people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no greater truth was ever spoken. So you could imagine my surprise when that lady said that watching this had the effect of stoking her appetite. It was probably just the melted cheese though, I mean... All I have to do is look at melted cheese and it, it makes me hungry. We're almost done with the second parmo now. What was that, no Diet Coke? Could be in trouble. Normally Diet Coke's like my secret weapon if I start to struggle. <laughs> I love that the guy went from a Diet Coke to a pack of Carly. <laughs> Interesting trajectory. Lunchtime is party time for that guy. <laughs> it's a messy one. I had to wipe my beard down a few times. Is the garlic sauce included then? So I have to finish the garlic sauce. I don't have to finish the sauce. We'll finish it anyway. Although there is a lot of it. <laughs> if it's on the plate, you got, well, I mean, not a plate, it's, what is it, a wooden block. If it's on there, you got to finish it surely. And uh, it, it helped get the, the, the chips down. A little bit of kebab meat fell in the sauce. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to hide it from you. I promise. <laughs> yeah, likely story. The chips were actually pretty good. Really fluffy, deep fried chips. I think are pretty much the only kind that I'm ever likely to enjoy. 16 minutes, plenty of time. Yeah, what did I say? 40 minutes. 40 minutes to crack this one. And if you don't, it's 25 quid. I think. I think we'll be all right. Is it all right, ref? Yeah. Spawn for me, mate. Do you hear that? Spot on. Always good to check in with the umpire. This place actually, they do a, a, a burger challenge too, so I might have to come back and give that a try. I know because the uh, the landlady regaled me before I got started with a, a story of a, a guy that came in recently. They, they live streamed him on their, their Facebook page and he came in Billy Big Balls saying that he could do it twice over and then eat dessert afterwards, but predictably failed halfway through. <laughs> Stay humble, kids, and I'll catch you in the next one. You might need to stock up on napkins after this. I've gone through quite a few. <laughs> We're almost there. It's like the last minute of the FA Cup final. <laughs> Not that I want to oversell it or anything. <laughs> Mate, come on in. Wow, Got it just in time not to see me eating. Which is, <laughs> it's all the best. <laughs> this is actually triple XL. Well, the station hotel. Now it's nice and minimalist. I like that. My, my plan with all my t shirts is to actually stitch them into a big sail and then just sail off into the sunset, retire on an island somewhere. <laughs> I send the pictures to my mum. She loves it. I think she eats it like five times a week. Yeah. Yum.